Go. Next, it'll be the number Batting four batter four. for the Rockies, the Nolan Arenado. And the Nolan. Rockies trying to hang Arenado. even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. Hey, see you driving right back to the pitcher. Huh, now? Here comes the 1 0. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Back to back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think like he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. Hey, one time, right now. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Now. Fairly on, standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He'll hey, give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. This is where, if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. Hey, I can't see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Arenado swings, and this one is crushed out to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a two-run homer down the line in left. And the Rockies have now taken a three-to-nothing lead. Well, I'm not sure that ball's ever going to be found. It went so far. One of the most impressive home runs we've ever seen. And the show track numbers are just ridiculous. Get this, the projected distance registered at over 500 feet. Very few balls in history have reached that territory. So expect to see that one on highlight reels for a long 